Hello, hello, hello. I was going to make a solo logic video tonight, but I think I'm just going to make a rant video instead. So this won't be a solo logic video, but I am going to deliver some BMATs while I'm ranting. I am going to be delivering some BMATs from Fading Light, which has uh, 257 crates. And I'm just going to simply be bringing it down to Mara for this uh, storage depot right here. This is really easy to do. It's a short trip. It's probably less than like five minutes and I can kind of go back and forth with it and I don't have to drop off the flatbed and leave it. And this place has 15 flatbeds and 611 storage bins. So somebody can spawn here really easily, get in the flatbed and move the bee mats uh, if they want to move them to Jade Cove. For factory use, they can. If they want to move them up to this forward storage depot, they can do that too. I'm not mad with the Collies. I'm just disappointed. I feel as though it's been a really, really good war so far. I always talk in my videos how any war past 20, 25 days is really good. People, each side is putting in like a really good effort. But as we've seen from some Collie regiments and some outspoken streamers on the Collie side, they've already given up, which is kind of disappointing. I understand that these are people that put in long hours into the game. They can get burnt out. I mean, probably putting full effort in for 20 plus days. That's a lot. The one thing that pulls my chain kind of about this situation, though, is all of War 98, 99. You know, I follow these Kali streamers. I think they're pretty entertaining most of the time. They're, they're pretty good dudes for the most part. They were just complaining all of War 98 and all War of 99. Like, where are the wardens at? Where, you know, where's the challenge? All of this. And I think, I think I can say that everyone knew War 100 was going to be a big war. Like everyone was like, everyone knew, I feel like that Warden were coming back, all old regiments. We were going to, we were all going to put our best foot forward, right? And again, so far, I think that's been happening maybe up until this point. I feel like there's just some defeatism already starting to brew. And I think it's just a little early for that. I feel like the Collies still have some good, you know, footing and everything, but... Just the loud minority is just saying they're they're done already. Yep, sorry about that. Yeah, no, you're good, mate. You're good. It's all good. Pulling times are pain. Yes, yes. Cheers. What a nice fellow. All right, we got our first crate. We're going to just head down to Mara and put the... Oh, that was nice of him. We are just going to put uh, the B mats there and come back and get some more. This is really short. I think this whole adventure is like less than 10 minutes. So it's kind of easy to do. It's just a, it's a pretty pretty chill solo logic. I mean, a lot of people think a lot of things that solo logic do is pretty chill, but this is even more chill. But back to my rant. Yeah, just the defeatism. You know, it brings all of the other Collies down that are listening. I know I know, there's a big group of Collies out there that are still going to fight till the very end, and I just want to thank them. I think that's awesome. I, I like to think that I'm usually on the Warden. When I play, well, I always play on the Wardens, I guess, but I like to think that I'm, I'm playing up until the very end, too. Um, you know, just because we've lost a few territories in the beginning doesn't mean that it's over or anything. There's still a chance to come back if we keep working hard. And I know a lot of these people... I don't know, I shouldn't say a lot maybe, but some people just treat this game like a job and then I can understand where the burnout comes from there too. So I get it. Like any game, people that complain about things are always gonna be, again, the most outspoken. There are tons of people that are still having fun with this war, doing all they can, but of course the negative people and the people that have like given up are always, always gonna be the more outspoken bunch. Because the people that are trying to win this war are busy trying to win this war, frankly. <laughs> um, one thing I want to bring up is something I've noticed out of the, the 500 hours I've played. I usually get on the Reddit, which I know is always a mistake. That's where I, get a, I see a lot of posts and things and follow stories. And that's where a lot of negative comments, of course, are. But I've, I've noticed a trend. The trend that I've noticed is that if a war ends before 15 days, if it's just a really, really, really quick war, the complaint on any faction side will be just low population. We only lost that war because there was low population and we didn't have the people we wanted. 
And that might be true. That might be true. But I mean, there's just oh, there's always an excuse, right? There's never like, oh, that was a good war. Like no one's ever really complimenting each other. <laughs> At least the other faction I see most of the time is not complimenting the winning faction. But like, man, that was a good war, good win, you know, GGs. It's always like, if it's under 15 days, it's oh, because we had low pop. If it's between like 15 days and like 25 days, I think, this is what I think that the trend I always see, it's always something like, oh, we had a bunch of alts that ruined our operations or ruined things for us. Um, and then if it's after 25 days, I think the complaint is always balance. Balance of some tank, balance of some tech or something. And then that's the trend, every single war. And this is on both sides of the faction. I'm not being like Kali specific and saying they complain the most or anything. This is on both sides where whatever the losing, fa whoever the losing faction is, is this is what they will complain about. Do you all notice something similar? Maybe, maybe you notice a different timeline or some other complaint, but that is definitely what I notice the most. All right, we got our first crate of B mats. Literally, literally like less than I think seven minutes. The driving back is like the biggest pain in which people would complain about the most. Um, we'll package that up. Oh, command, command, command. Yeah, this is, um, if you're Warden or whatever, this storage depot in Mara always gets you like a ton of commands. So if you want to, not that I condone farming commands or anything, but it was less than probably seven minutes from fading light down to here. Going to go restock. Get some more mats down here. And it's a really simple task. So if you're somebody that can't play the game very long, this is helping a lot, even just moving at this short distance. I feel like Logi players sometimes feel like they need to move things like a great distance to make a big difference, but you can literally just move, like do this, and it's gonna make, it's gonna be a big deal. It's kind of like I mentioned earlier, the flatbeds uh, and the storage uh, crates are already here for other people to move it forward. This kind of talk that I do is normally what I do on my solo Logi videos. So if you ever want to see more commentary on that kind of thing that I've been <laughs> was just talking about, kind of go check out the solo Logi videos because I do those the entire videos where this is, again, more a rant and just what I've been seeing near the end of this war. Something I wanted to show you, I was thinking about while I was driving, and I wish I could, like, color on this or something, but essentially the threshold for complainers and defeatism so at least when the warden spawns north and Kali spawns south, it's like whenever we take all, all of like Fnatic coast, definitely fishermen's right. I think it's like this line. So it's like where this horizontal line on the coast is like across. So it's like in the shore, deadlands. You know, if we take the, if we took all of deadlands, that would probably be it too. But you know, we got endless and Fnatic coast. That's the line of like where the complainers start coming in of like. It's all, it's low pop, it's tech, it's just like the, the top three, right? And then of course wardens, you know, I'm not going to be biased here. I'm not going to, wardens have the same people. So as soon as Fnatic Coast 2 probably gets taken, probably the same, the same hexes, honestly. Once these three kind of get fully taken, just this is when complainers start. You'll just start seeing it pop up everywhere and people will be like, I'm done. It's like people that build, they build like one really strong, big stronghold like a regiment will they'll build like a really strong base and they'll lose that one base and then they'll just be done they won't think to build like a backup base or and they'll tell their whole regiment unfortunately they'll tell their whole regiment like hey we're done for this war you know we lost that one base it's like i you know i don't get that mentality maybe somebody can explain it to me again i know this game is not a job or anything that you shouldn't force players to like hate their lives they should be having fun with this game but I don't know, maybe go do something different then. I don't I don't know. I was talking to Cronus and Moy today. We were kind of having a discussion and it was... Uh, Cronus brought up a good point that something that's bringing, I think, both factions down definitely is the, the facility clans and men. They are just putting the facilities in the wrong spots for, like, defensive bunker bases. And it's just kind of messing things up. And it sounds like, I mean, I think that's a perfectly valid complaint. I don't know how much it's happening on each side. Um, Cronus knows a lot better, more, because he builds a lot more. But that was one of the things he pointed out with it, which I thought was valid, you know. 
I kind of wish with facilities you could only, like, I don't know, build them, like, in certain back line. I wish you really couldn't build, like, a new facility up here, you know, towards the front line. I don't know how that would work systematically or whatever, but I don't know. There definitely probably has to has to be something with facility changes. All right, we are going to do one more crate of BMATs. Because I think I'm running out of things to rant about. But we're going to do one more crate of B mats. Put them down there. And that might be the end of my rant video. Let me know your thoughts. What are you, your thoughts? I know. I don't know. I get some comments in my YouTube videos. Random. It's really funny, actually. People will just randomly comment in the most random YouTube videos. Like, I had a YouTube video that was I, I was just asking why people play Wardens. And there's people talking in the comments of, like why the wardens are winning this war and they're just like in the comments complaining to no one essentially <laughs> you know it's again it's always the big three it's like tech alts or low pop it's one of those three why whichever faction is losing if there's any takeaway i want players to get from this video you know people i know i have people out there that don't play this game that just like to watch me play it um so they might not quite understand or even new players um if you're watching streamers and things, or even me, you know, don't, don't let my mindset, like, persuade you how you want to play. Like, if I, which I would never do, but if I got on here, it's like, I'm not playing this war anymore. This is baloney. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a throw. What? Let me, let me take a throw. All right. I'm halfway done, bro. Can you just wait a second? <laughs> Uh, but um, now he lost my train of thought and this video is going to be just complete rubbish but that's okay I just wanted to get out my rant um, yeah so just don't listen to us make your own decisions make your own fun too I always tell people in my solo logi videos you know if you're getting bored with doing something just there's there's a lot to do in this game just go do something else um, and if, if you still want to play, of course, if you want to go play a completely different game, that makes sense. But there's just so many different things you can do in this game that you could find something like new and entertaining, something new to learn even. Um, artillery, building, crafting, uh, resource management, infantry, you know, all of that stuff. So, yeah, I think that's been my rant. Don't listen to defeatism. Continue the war if you have... Uh, the the energy to do so i know again these wars can get long these are some of my favorite though like when we get into again like 25 days things like this this is my some of my favorite parts of the war so i hope you all um <laughs> enjoyed my rant i guess i don't know you probably didn't enjoy it you probably didn't even make it all the way through but that's okay this is a random one-off video that i just wanted to do um so let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I always appreciate all of you watching. I'll hopefully have another solo logi video before this war is over. Um, so take care and cheers. Look at this big chonker. Look at that big chonker.
Look at all those commends again. Less than like 20 minutes, I think. Less than uh, less than about 25 minutes. Look at those commends. I know some of you like that. You're looking for ideas to get commends. I'm telling you, this storage depot to this storage depot, just bring in BMATs down. It helps a lot. Again, a lot of new players would probably not think that. They think they need to do the big the big uh, transfers. But yeah, that it helps a lot to bring these BMATs here. So I just wanted to show you at the end. Um, I usually do that fast motion thing for most of my most of my videos. Change the fuel here. You always need some more fuel in the front. Clean out this storage depot. No one likes this. I'll leave these here. That's fine. But this other stuff is garbage. So this is like a little some extra bonus solo logic content at the end. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thanks for putting up with my rant.